I'll be the first to admit I may have jumped the gun last week. Yo, what's good? It's your boy MJ Nelson, and I am back with another episode of the Motion Sports Brief, episode 16. So, today's lineup we have Demario Davis, Christian McCaffrey, also known as Run CMC, and this week's Ask Butter Team of the Week. Also, stay tuned for this week's musical selection. It comes from Kashmir. It, uh, it is a song on his project from earlier this year. Uh, I believe it came out like January, February, somewhere in there. And it is titled Vibin'. You have heard it before, but you're going to hear it again today. All right, so let's jump into the content. So, Demario Davis. A couple weeks ago, he wore a headband that said Man of God on it. And... Uh, it ruffled some feathers in the NFL, and it caused him to get fined $7,000. So, that was the first offense. If he decided to wear it again, it would be 14000 So, they would double it. This led for him to get an appeal, and he won his appeal. Uh, he gained a lot of support from people around the world and whatnot. They did like a GoFundMe to help him raise some money for it. And also, uh, he gained support from a local school with a bunch of grade school children wearing Man of God headbands and whatnot. Uh, it, was, it was super dope to see that. So congratulations to DeMario for actually winning his appeal. But this leads to the bigger conversation of what's going on with personal messages in the NFL. So I do understand that there is a barrier that they're trying not to cross with personal messages. They don't want to get into too much troubled water. Uh, they're trying to make the NFL for everybody. But again, you have to remember that people should be able to express their spiritual beliefs. I know it's like you, you have people of different beliefs in the NFL. Let them express that. It's okay. Like, I don't think anybody should be offended for somebody wearing a man of God headband. That's the least offensive thing I can think of. It'd be different if it was like hate speech on the headband or something like that. That'd be very different. Um, but we have seen this type of blasphemy <laughs> from the NFL before with D'Angelo Williams and William Gay. Their mothers were uh, basically battling cancer and they had like eye paint that says find the cure and they got fined for that. They wouldn't let D'Angelo Williams wear pink year round because he, uh, he was basically trying to support his mother who was battling breast cancer. Like, this is insane to me. Like, you guys have to understand that these are real things and real causes that people want to get behind. Like, if you are working at a regular job, your job wouldn't tell you, no, you can't have this in, at your cubicle or on your desk. Like... It's, it's not that crazy. They need to tweak this personal message rule and just like basically limit it down to no hate speech because at this point you're taking God out of everything and people that believe in God would like to express their love of God. Simple as that. But let's move on. So next up is Christian McCaffrey. Now, I'll be the first to admit I may have jumped the gun last week. All right. But Christian McCaffrey is emerging as a MVP candidate on a lot of people's list. Now, he's putting up monstrous numbers. All right. I don't know if he'll be able to sustain this for the entire season to be able to win. The MVP is very difficult to like sustain that amount of production being a running back because he's catching, he's running. He has the ball a majority of the time and he doesn't come off the field. So that is super difficult to like keep like to prolong throughout the season. But uh, I, I I don't know. Like a lot of people have him number three behind Patrick Mahomes and Russell Wilson, depending upon how you have the order. You know, Khalil Mack did have an off game. He was very quiet last week. The uh you know, the scheme worked on him, but it's all right because at the time I'm filming this, like Christian McCaffrey is playing and he was very quiet as well. He wasn't doing nothing too crazy. He had probably 
at the time I'm recording this, he had about 70 scrimmage yards altogether. He wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. So we'll see the numbers throughout the rest of the day and see how he stacked up against the other MVP candidates. But it's early, but I do like that now they're introducing more smaller running backs. Um, Christian, McCaffrey, uh, Christian McCaffrey and uh, Alvin Kamara are definitely killing it, and I feel like a lot of teams will start drafting more players that size due to where you can line them up. You can have them run out the backfield. You can have them uh, catch out the backfield. You can have them line up as receivers and whatnot. They're all purpose backs, and that's super dope that these type of running backs are basically coming back into the NFL, but I would recommend having another bigger back there so you can get a little bit more variety, a little bit more, a few more power runs and a lot more blocking. Uh, I know Christian McCaffrey does do power runs. It's a little bit stronger than Kamara, but you'll kind of want to balance your team a little bit. But enough of that. Let's jump into the last segment of the day. And y'all know what it is. It is this week's Ass Butter Team of the Week. And we just going to jump right into it. Look, last week, it was a lot of trash going on in the league. But your boy MJ has narrowed it down to two teams. You have the New York Jets. Let's give it up. 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 And then you have the Cleveland Browns. Let's give it up for them as well. But you know, there can only be one winner. And this week's Ask Butter Team of the Week is the Cleveland Browns. Look, all right. I'm disappointed, to be honest. Like, I know the expectations were high coming into this season, but all the talk that was in Cleveland was that they, they got their guys. They got Odell. The defense looked stacked. They had uh, both wide receivers were crazy. You know, you got Nick Chubb. You got your guy in Baker Mayfield <laughs> who's turning out to look more of like Johnny Menzel 2.0 at this moment. But, look, all I'm saying is, for you to have this much talent, you guys should not be stacking up these losses like this. That was an embarrassing game on Monday night, and it should not have been. You guys have everything you need. You should have put up a better showing against a contender. Like, the Niners were trying to prove themselves, and you proved them right. So, you deserved it. So, Cleveland... You are this week's ass by the team of the week. Enjoy it. If you don't get it together, you'll be here again. But this has been another episode of the Motion Sports Brief. I've been your host, MJ Nelson, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace. Vibing, vibing, coasting, coasting. I gotta stay focused, meditate my mind, mind, meditate my mind. Coasting, I gotta stay focused, meditate